Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Viking Size Gamer, and today I'm bringing you a little tidbit of information that could be very, very interesting in the future long run of WWE 2K19. For those of you who follow Byron Corbin on Snapchat, you'll have seen already that he put a picture on there stating that he was knocking out some stuff for 2K, and he was stood in front of a microphone in a locker room. Now, obviously this leads to a lot of speculation on certain things, whether there will be voiceovers this year, whether this will be for the career mode, whether this could just be for his taunts, or maybe his entrance. It could be any of the above. As we can see from the photo, it is not in a professional recording environment, which basically leads me to think that this would have been a short and sharp little entry for him for 2K, which means that I think it could more be related to the taunts, but then again, it could be something else as well. It could be related to his entrance. It could be related to some taunts that he could be using in my career mode. It could be even something to do with my career mode and a storyline that you have with Baron Corbin in that. Possibly the return of a Road to WrestleMania type mode. It could be absolutely anything. If you remember as well, in a GM mode not too long ago, we used to get messages from the superstars calling us on our mobile phones. And of course, it's a long shot. Maybe I'm reaching for something for GM mode because that's still a very wide possibility of that one happening. It's way outfield. But to be honest with you, it is something that we are all clinging on to if you enjoy GM mode. What we do know is that Baron Corbin is providing voiceover for WWE 2K19, but it seems like it's not anything massive currently. Otherwise, they would have had him in a proper room rather than a locker room. So at the moment, it's all up in the air as to what his voiceover work will be doing and whether he is the only one or whether there are more and they just haven't posted any of this sort of thing on Snapchat. I am incredibly interested to find out what that could be. But also, while we're here, I'd like to talk about another issue that has come up recently. You are probably aware of the tattoo artist for Randy Orton currently having a case with 2K. She is actively suing them for copyright of her work. And she has basically involved everybody at 2K, including the parent companies, Take Two as well. So this is really sort of up in the air as to whether or not this will be a massive change for the 2K games, but it has come out obviously that she has denied a payment that they offered her of $450 for the copyright of the designs, but she's not involving Randy Orton in this case. So she is demanding that they have this in front of a jury and that they will decide whether or not this is actually her work. To be fair, at this point it is a work of art and it is on somebody else's body, but those designs were commissioned for Randy himself. I am not sure of the legalities in this, so I will not be making any comment whatsoever on the standing of this, but it could lead possibly to Randy Orton's tattoos being blurred out in the game, maybe altered. Really, it's kind of up in the air as to how this will appear in WWE 2K19, so we'll have to keep an eye on that and see how it turns out. But apart from that, that's pretty much everything that we've had. We've, it's a little bit of a flash news for you, but I would like to ask you, if you want to play a game with me, then please do come to my Twitch channel. It is twitch.tv forward slash Viking Size Gamer. You can follow me on there to see when I am live. And also, we do have the next round of the Showcase Classic Tournament for WWE 2K18 appearing on that channel as well. So, that was your quick roundup of WWE 2K19 news for the day. I'll catch you later.